Okay, hi, I'm David Gauntler. I'm here at the Maker Fair. Uh, the night is drawing in at the end of the first day, the Saturday. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm doing a talk with Miss Resnick at two o'clock, uh, which is called Six Amazing Things About Making. I'm here with Mitch Resnick. He's holding the camera, so we're going to twist this round. And I wanted to ask Mitch um, what it is that draws people to the Maker Fair, or what's exciting about the Maker Fair for us? I think for me, what's interesting, and I think what draws a lot of people, is that one thing is the diversity of Maker Fair. If you walk around, you see so many different types of making going on. Because in one booth, there will be this like heavy duty making, the latest of advanced technology, of new 3D printers, and types of you know, industrial design, you know, industrial tools. And yet, right nearby, you'll also see you know, people doing uh, a, a type of knitting workshop, or a swap arama where people be giving clothes and mixing and matching and remixing clothes and sewing them together in new ways. So it's everything from the simplest of craft activities to high-end new technologies. So it sort of shows the range of different making possibilities and shows the connection between them. Because oftentimes those are seen as totally diverse, uh, divergent communities, totally separate communities. And the Maker Fair brings together those communities and shows that there is something in common. Uh, and what unites them together is this sort of spirit of making. And maybe that's the one other point I'd make is this spirit of making is not just about the product that's produced here, but I think there's a playful spirit that cuts across the whole Maker Fair, regardless of whether it's the advanced technology you know, or the putting beads on a string. Uh, it's all done in a playful spirit where people are experimenting, exploring. You don't see people here sitting down, following a list of instructions. Uh, it's people who are constantly sort of testing the boundaries, trying new things, trying to take people by surprise. Uh, so there's, we heard someone earlier refer to the whimsy of Maker Faire. So people are playful in spirit. And I think that is one of the things that makes Maker Faire special. It's not just the, uh, the specific product that gets made, but the experimental explore, exploration uh, in how people are tinkering with materials around them in order to you know, create things that are meaningful to them. Beautifully put, thank you, Mitch.